welcome to your celebration. Introducing the class of 2020. For the rest of your life, every time you look at your certificate, you won't see a piece of paper. You'll see a reminder of everything you achieved during your time at BU. This is not a piece of paper. This is so much more. This is four years of my life. This is one year of my life. This is absolute unwavering focus. This is sleepless nights before arrivals meet. This is awkward conversations with total strangers. This is the amazing friends they became. This is the nerves I felt starting my placement year. This is the confidence I felt once it was done. This is late nights in the library. This is early morning runs on the beach. This is big nights out and long nights in. This is spending hours on an assignment. This is binning it the night before and starting again. This is passing it anyway. This is color-coded revision timetables. This is the black and white of discipline. This is everything I learned on the units I passed. This is everything I learned on the exam that I failed. This is juggling my research and my job. This is overcoming disappointment. This is beating adversity. This is resubmitting. This is never giving up. This is redemption. This is knowing that I can do this and I will do this. This is not being able to go home and see my family. This is no summer ball. This is no end of year night out. This is not saying goodbye in person. This is not shaking my lecturer's hand. This is not hugging my classmates. This is us celebrating online when we should have been celebrating together. This is every Am I On You in a Zoom seminar. This is the bedroom that became a lecture theatre. This is the class WhatsApp banter group that became a class WhatsApp support group. This is two fingers to COVID-19. This is knowing that if I can succeed here, in these circumstances, then I can succeed anywhere, in any circumstances. This is not a piece of paper. This is so much. Introducing Professor John Vinney, Vice-Chancellor of Bournemouth University. Thank you to the 40 graduates who helped to make that brilliant film and welcome to your graduate celebration event. As your Vice-Chancellor, I'm delighted to be able to join you live today and it's fantastic to see so many of you here. This is an opportunity for us to celebrate with you while we wait for a time when we can get together in person. I would also like to welcome our Chancellor, Kate Adie, who you'll hear from later. The motto of this university is Discere Mutari Est, which means to learn is to change. And you have learned and changed so much over the course of your time at BU, and we have learned from you. Our vision for BU is based on the fusion of education, research and professional practice making what you have learned relevant and equipping you for the future. Life at university is about so much more than studying. The other activities you took part in were also opportunities to grow and develop and to make friends you will stay in touch with for the rest of your lives. Events this year have demonstrated the importance and value of your disciplines to the world. I also want to acknowledge on behalf of BU and our wider community the contribution made by our students and staff who have supported our communities at BU, locally, nationally and globally, during your time with us, through working and volunteering, supporting the public sector and charities, and helping neighbours and colleagues. Thank you for everything that you've done. Your journey from now will require you to continually learn, change and adapt. It will not be easy, but you've already demonstrated that you're up for a challenge, and each one of you has demonstrated true commitment and resilience. You can be proud of everything that you've achieved, as we are extremely proud of you. Alongside your academic achievements, these skills will be the launch pad for the next steps in your amazing journey. Education is about changing lives, our own lives and the lives of those around us. It helps us to leave the world a better place than we found it. 
and I know you will all make a difference in whatever you choose to do next. So congratulations to each and every one of you. And now it's time to celebrate. Introducing Jonathan Good, Head of Alumni Relations at Bournemouth University. Good afternoon, everybody. I am delighted to introduce our keynote speaker for today's event, BU's Chancellor, Dr. Kate Aidy, CBE DL. Kate was the BBC's chief news correspondent from 1989 to 2003 and covered major international events. She is also a prolific author on a range of subjects, including women in World War I and presents from our own correspondent on Radio 4. Kate was appointed OBE in 1993 and CBE in 2017 and has won multiple awards, including a BAFTA fellowship in 2018 a Lifetime Achievement Award given in recognition of outstanding achievements in the art forms of moving image, the highest honour the Academy can bestow. In January 2019, Kate became Bournemouth University's fifth Chancellor. And without further ado, I will now hand over to uh, Kate for her welcome address. Congratulations. You will look back on this year I can't speculate as to what you'll remember about it, but you'll have been part of a strange but historic time. And at this moment, you need to know that you've managed to achieve something worthwhile. You've come through, regardless of the fact that you lived with a terrible haircut, seen far too much television, and probably typed enough words for at least three books except you typed it all on WhatsApp and Facebook 
and it concerned a lot of stuff he wouldn't like to see published. Never mind. You've come through. You've got a degree. You're a success and at a very difficult time. And you've got the future in your hands. I spent a considerable time of my working life in rather difficult places. People imagined that a journalist covering significant international events from national TV channel would somehow breeze through war, war zone conditions in a kind of media bubble. Suffice it to say, I've spent days without washing, acquired some unpleasant medical conditions, been sworn at in many languages, slept not once but for a week in a cow byre, eaten terrible food, been shot at by total strangers, and learned a fundamental lesson that you should never dig a latrine in an avocado orchard, due to dozens of squashed avocados providing no firm footing when approaching a latrine. I've interviewed people who have had no difficulty killing their fellow citizens, put questions to bigots, racists and somewhat deranged individuals, along with men who frankly thought it beneath them and indeed demeaning to answer questions from a mere woman. You learn to cope, to pursue the story, get answers and put your personal feelings aside because you're a journalist and a professional and you're going to grit your teeth and get on with it. And in the end, you win because you're a journalist and you will have shown the world people in their true colours. And I look back on such times and remember, we came through. We got the story. Getting through the hard times gives you the skills to cope better in the future. Gaining your degree means that others acknowledge you can reach a certain standard, that you're capable of study, and you've had to think about thinking. And you did it in conditions you hadn't expected. So, all the more praise for having reached today. The future's in your hands. You don't need to be told that a great number of things need to be sorted out in this world. You can be part of that. You have education. You have inquiring minds. You're better prepared. You're able to work out that although the last year seems like such a large chunk of your life, as you grow older, do the maths, it'll become a much smaller chunk of your life. And there is so much that lies ahead of you, using your skills and your knowledge and discovering that work can be fulfilling and rewarding. And there's more to life than work. Remember travel, new friends, parties, a drink or two, adventure. It all lies ahead of you. Life is what you make it. Make it good and have fun. Again, Congratulations. Kate, I want to say a big thank you for preparing and delivering those words of advice and encouragement to our graduates today and welcome to the event. Thank you. If, if I may, I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions uh, the, on the back of, of what you just said. The first was uh, this key message around having made it through and, and stopping to reflect on, on successes along the way. I'm just interested to know in your own career whether you found it possible to stop and reflect on those times of success, and if so, how that helped you to overcome future challenges. I haven't thought much about success. I certainly didn't when I was working. If you get a story out which has been difficult to get, where the conditions have been horrible, or whether people didn't want you to uh, hear what was going on, but you managed to tell other people, which is what journalists do, I would call it satisfaction. And I always aim for that kind of satisfaction that you've really done what you came to do, what you wanted to do, which is inform others. And satisfaction is something which can be achieved without, I think, that notion of um, success, which sometimes means top dog 
or it means more money, or it means elbowing somebody else out. I think you look for satisfaction. At the end of the day, satisfaction's great. You did it. Whereas success is a little bit nebulous. Look for satisfaction. And if you feel you got it right, if others say, yes, you did, then you really are doing a great job. And life should be better. Thank you. That's a, a good perspective and a good piece of advice for us to take away from today. Uh, just finally, you referenced there in your answer, as well as in your speech, the role of a journalist in, in revealing or uncovering the real story. Um, what's your advice to those entering journalism today, particularly in terms of pursuing a story that perhaps others might not want to be told? Uh, when I first came into the business, I remember a very old hand, a really tough old Fleet Street hack. And he said, your job is to get in the room. Uh, it doesn't matter how wonderfully it's appointed or how grand the people. He said, your basic job is to turn back the carpet and see what they've swept under it. Uh, getting the facts, getting at what really matters keeping to the facts when these days there are all kinds of uh, devices and attitudes which would stop people being absolutely truthful, really honest. It's your job to find out what's going on. It is, and it's a good old phrase, it is the importance of speaking truth to power in some instances. Whatever anybody says and doesn't want reported, doesn't want broadcast, you have to have very good reasons for it not, and there are such reasons. But when you're chasing the facts, when it matters, and sometimes there's a lot at stake, not just your own career, but other people's lives. You've got to weigh up what should go out you learn the ethics of the business, what is proper and good to report, and then you go for it. That's fantastic. Uh, thank you, Kate. There are so many more questions I would like to ask you, but time does not allow. So we will pause there, and I would just like to repeat a big thank you uh, from all of us for joining us today and for delivering that message to our graduates. Many thanks. Thank you. Now it uh, is to leave it to me to move into the next segment of our event. This is your moment. Uh, please clap and cheer and do turn your cameras and microphones on so that we can see and hear you. Oh my.
The last year has been so tough and it will not have been the year that you expected to have. But you are all here today because you have achieved beyond limits and in doing so you will have created friendships and memories that will last forever. So whilst this might be the end of your time at BU, it's just the beginning of bright futures for you all. So good luck. Hi guys, so pleased we were able to pull something together for you. Uh, looking at what you've been doing, really, really proud of all the things that you are achieving, um, especially during these times. Anyway, sending you lots of love. Hello everybody, lovely to see you. Um, these are really strange times that we're in, but we've been thinking very much about you and how you're doing. Hopefully you've had a productive few months and this is all part of life's rich tapestry. Anyway, all I want to say is all the very best for the future. It's, um, gosh, how many months is it since we saw you? Quite a long time now, but I still remember the joy of teaching you all and spending time with you. Um, and I hope the time that you spent at Bournemouth University is really memorable. I know it was an odd finish, but we had great times together. And I'm loving getting little messages from LinkedIn saying who's got what in terms of new jobs. So you've done brilliantly. We're all so proud of you. Um, and we're really looking forward to seeing you face to face in the future. Hi everybody, Dr. Tanya LeRue here. Well, we know you have the knowledge and experience to make a great success of your career, but we now know you also have resilience to be an absolute success. May your careers just boom and grow. Go knock it out of the park. ME Marketing Communications, congratulations from the whole teaching team, John, Janice, Seville, Becky and Tassos. Well done guys, big up and keep walking. From us all, good luck. Bye. 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 I am so pleased to have this opportunity on behalf of the whole of the board of Bournemouth University to con congratulate you, our graduates, on successfully completing your degrees. We are also very, very proud of you and are delighted for you, your family and your supporters on what is a fantastic achievement. I know that I speak for all of the BU board when I say that there is no one more important in our university than our students. And we all take great pride in what you have achieved and indeed what we know you're going to achieve throughout your lives. I have served Bournemouth University in one capacity or another for nearly 40 years. Like you, I'm also a graduate of Bournemouth University and I know that, that nearly everything I have achieved in my professional life I owe to my time at this amazing institution. Finally, I would like to thank all of the staff at BU who have worked so hard to help you to realise your dreams today. We all wish you every success in all that you do in the future. And I hope that you will keep in touch with us and always look back with great affection on the time you spent at Bournemouth University. Well done, congratulations and good luck. Congratulations to the class of 2020. 
As a former student, I can definitely agree that 2020 was the toughest academic year one could have ever experienced. But you did it because you are here and we are here to celebrate you and to congratulate you and we know that you are going to achieve so much more in the future. Congratulations to you all from the Subaru Student Opportunities Team. Introducing Executive Dean for the Faculty of Media and Communication, Professor Einar Thorsen. We are now nearing the end of our celebration and we hope it's given you a sense of renewed pride in how much you have achieved during your time at BU. We look forward to celebrating again soon in person when we are all able to do so safely. And in the meantime, take what you learned and use it to make a difference to your life and the life of others. Be confident and a catalyst for change. And do please stay and mingle virtually with friends and colleagues. Please stay safe and we look forward to seeing you again soon and congratulations.